Hello guys, this is another fabulous plugin for WordPress. This one is the one that I made uh, just today. And the, this plugin does a pretty useful task for freelancers who needs to hide from the client's uh, administration panel some of the menu items that might not be necessary or that might be dangerous um, to enter to the client if it's not uh, trained to use the whole user interface uh, in the admin panel. So what this plugin does once you install it is let you check a set of menu items from these check boxes uh, and hide them um, to other users except than you. So when you install WordPress for the first time, you will have the user ID of one. So you are the administrator in a in a standard user uh, in a standard WordPress installation, or you are the super administrator in a, a WordPress network multi-site. So um, uh, let's see how this plugin works first. So you head over the installed plugins. Uh, section here on the menu and you click you install it so you add a new plugin the plugin will be available on the WordPress repository so you will be able to search for it by typing its name uh, I haven't yet uh, submitted the plugin to the WordPress repository while I'm recording this video but I will do that soon enough that I will allow you um, to download it from the official WordPress repository straight from your administration panel or uh, we'll leave a link to the description in this video to the um, to my debugged account where you can find the repository and all you have to do is just um, download the source code inside the plugin directory and clone the source code using um, git and you will find the plugin listed here and its name will be um, where it is freelance admin either uh, you just click on active plugin so you can just activate the plugin activate and then you visit the settings page and the general menu tab and under these general settings you will find the new menu section uh, for the freelance admin menu uh, either and here you can select all the menu items that you want to hide so the first one is the dashboard which means this one then you have the posts the medias the pages the comments and in this case, I have Word, uh, WooCommerce and other uh, stuff that is not included in this package for now. And then you can hide the plugins and the appearance menu. So these two, the users and the tools and the settings. Um, other than that, you can, of course, hide these pages. So the plugin editor, the sub pages and the um, team editor sub page, as well as you have the option to add from the WordPress toolbar this WordPress logo, which uh, redirects the user out of its website and uh, to the official WordPress uh, website. And also you can add this update icon from the top toolbar. So this one, in case you have plugins to update, so this will be hidden. Let's check them out and see what happens when we switch user. So let's see that I want to add the dashboard and the appearance menu and the plugins menu. And of course, we want to add those as well. Um, so these two and these two at least, I mean. And then we save changes. And as you see, this will be checked now. And when you visit the user tab, so these uh, menu items are still available to you because you are the administrator, but in case you want to switch to another user, so this user is another administrator, but as you see here, 
this administrator doesn't have the dashboard access, doesn't have a lot of bunch of settings from the administration panel. So in case you need to handle this um, installation to a client that has not been trained or is not supposed to be um, using these menus uh, from its WordPress installation because you are managing the WordPress for them as administrator, um, this, must, this plugin comes really handy and you can use it, it's free um, and it will be available on the official WordPress.org uh, repository. Um, once you switch back to the administrator, to the main administrator, you will see that these are back here. Let's do another try. So if you visit this page, the updates, under updates core directly from the WordPress administration panel and from the other user, you will not be able to visit the page because the plugin redirects you back if you are not authorized. So it doesn't just hide the menu from the menu item from the administration panel, uh, but it um, redirects the user back if he's not supposed to visit that page. So it entirely hides the pages and the menus from the administration panel. So let's see uh, when we switch the user to the other user. So we have some updates to run on this test installation. Let's switch back to this user. And you see there is nothing here, uh, but we still have this two checked. So let's go back and see and double check if we have successfully hidden these menus. I have forgotten to do that. So I'll switch to and let's see in the settings, general. So we have this two, okay. I did deny the logo and I did deny the update icons. Um, that should be it. So let's save the changes again. And let's switch to the, to the other user. So as you see, this other user is an administrator as well. But since this user is the first um, user of the uh, WordPress installation, is the user that has actually installed the system onto this machine, is the main administrator. So it's the only administrator which has an ID of one. So it's the first one. And it's the only one who has the ability to change these settings from the administration panel. So it's switching back to this user. So you see the WordPress logo is gone, the updates icon is gone. And if we visit that directly, we shouldn't be able to visit the page and we should be redirected back to this page. And as you see, the website performs a redirect and it sends us back to this page. So that's how it works. Uh, feel free to use it or email me uh, if you have any question. Um, if you like this plugin, um, rate it on the wordpress.org uh, uh, repository. And if you have any improvement, any things you, will, you would like to see in the future release, feel free to get in touch. Cheers.